Welcome back to TechTree. This section is called Duel, where we take two technologies and make them confront each other and see which one wins in the end. Last week we had Facebook and Twitter, but that ended up in a tie. So this time we're going to try and make things a little more interesting by taking an electronic medium and a non-electronic medium. This time we have the Amazon Kindle and we have Shakti here who is going to be defending that. And we have the actual real book which is going to be defended by Ramya. So we start with the first point which is convenience. Now it's clear that the Amazon Kindle is a lot more convenient to carry around than a bunch of books. But we'll see what Ramya has to say about that. Yeah, it's uh, true that uh, this is definitely heavier than that, but then I think I'd be a lot more comfortable tossing this into my handbag, especially while traveling in a crowded Mumbai train than that. Trains, yeah. What do you have well, to say about that? There are covers, cases, there's always Ziploc to pack it in. But in a Mumbai train, if you have three or four of those books, you're going to be tired. How many books do you read at one time? Come on, you carry you them all around. Different <laughs> moods, you want to read a drama or a comedy. So. Yeah, so I'd like to have a, a library of uh, books at my disposal at any point in time. So, I guess you lose a point there. Okay, so the next thing is feel. Now, a lot of people have been talking about the feel of a real book which cannot be compared to uh, an e-book reader such as the Kindle. Now, we'll see Shakti's reaction to that. Well, the Kindle um, has a screen that almost looks like paper and you don't have to use two hands to read. So, you're lying in bed or you're sitting somewhere, you can just click and turn the page. But don't have to enjoy the... You know, the first time you buy a book, it's a fresh new book and you open it and the page feels so nice. It, I love the smell of paper. The smell. A new book, yeah. I like the smell. I'll and give her that, I'll it. give her that, I'll give well, her that. Yeah. So as far as experience is concerned, Shakti loses a point this time. Okay, so the next thing is cost. Now, uh, the Amazon Kindle costs about uh, $285, yeah. which is a fair bit of money and uh, books cost a whole lot less. So, this is a little confusing. I don't know who to ask exactly. Do you think the Kindle is cheaper or do you think real books are cheaper or what? In the long run, the Kindle becomes cheaper because once I have a bookshelf full of books, I'll mm. need a new bookshelf and real estate is expensive. It so, is. Um, and also your um, cost of an e-book is always lesser than that of the real book. And in the long run, say in the next five years, I see e-books being far cheaper because the variable cost is hardly mm. anything. There's no distribution cost. Um, so in the long run, it ends up being cheaper. Fair enough. but. Uh... Firstly, as you mentioned, there is a high entry barrier. Mm -hmm. So it's anyway restricted to a bunch of people who can afford to get in in the first mm -hmm. place. So that already, and that's that's a much smaller segment. Yeah, but that's really with any large... technology. With time, as uh, the demand increases, the cost starts fair enough, going Fair enough, fair enough. But then when it comes down to it, maintenance cost. Now, I can pour a glass of water on that and it'll conk out. Don't. I Please won't. don't. I won't, I won't. Just remove the water it's glasses. Okay. I like my books, but okay. that's okay. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, that'll probably conk out immediately. There is a water guarantee that Amazon gives. Um, in case you spill water on it, they replace your device and all your books are stored to your Amazon account. I guess you one point there. Okay, so the next point we have is features. Uh, a book is just a book. It's You open it, you read it and you close it. And then I don't know what else you do with it. Uh, but you read it the again? E-book, yeah, maybe you can read it again. On the, on the other hand, the e-book, readers they offer you a lot of features it's amazing uh, you can look up words you can bookmark it and text to speech is awesome you get tired of reading you just plug in your earphones and it starts reading to you from that point on let me ask you this how many times when you're reading a book do you go and actually feel the need to refer to a dictionary and um, how many times you get tired of reading the book and ask someone to read to you uh, well you don't have that option to get someone to read to you but you have that here yeah, but it, it, it just isn't the same thing, right? Having someone read out to you well, versus reading. when you were a kid, your daddy read to you. Oh. Mm -hmm. I, I totally get the features are good and they're great. Obviously, yeah, like yeah. I said, the book lover and me is very happy about this. But then, mm -hmm. I'm just questioning how many of those features are absolutely need to have. A book is a need to have for me. I like a book. I like the author. Yes, I do need to have the book with me. Do I absolutely need to have a dictionary? Do I need to have access to it right now at 2 in the morning? I have to buy that book right now. If you're a book lover and you're passionate about it, you do. Yeah, if I'm a book lover and passionate, then I'll be there at 9 in the morning or 10 in the morning and buy the first copy. Did you yeah. get to Landmark or whichever bookstore when Harry Potter was released in Sydney? Oh, yeah. yeah. I exactly. See, so. But I, at the same time, I would rather have my Kindle, I have all the Harry Potter books lined up. Now you have the Kindle, so now... Exactly, this, 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 that's one reason why I bought uh, the Kindle, because I have... There's no need writer. to stand in line. There's no need to stand in line. You save a whole lot of time. Like, if I have half an hour to kill before um, the shoot starts, <laughs> I can just um, go in yeah, and start shopping for books. So as far as features are concerned, I think Shakti gets another point there. So. Okay, there you have it. Now the last point is something a little more important than anything we've discussed so far. It's impact on the environment. 
a lot of trees go into making these books a lot of electricity is used in using that well not really it runs um it takes about 3 hours to fully charge it and it runs for a week it's not that. biodegradable what about the e-waste well you can it's recyclable a page is a tree yeah but then 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 you're just looking at which resources more important they both equally important there's a good point there so it's natural resources it's one natural resources versus another so uh I think there's going to be a bit of a tie on this point. But so far, I think the Kindle is winning. So what we'll do is we'll ask you guys, what do you prefer? Do you prefer the e-book or do you prefer the real book? You can SMS us, send tech space name space city and your answer to five triple nine five, or you can tweet us at Ask Tech Tree. Now before we do that, we'll check out last week's answers on Twitter versus Facebook. I can say I've fallen for that. That is the end of the show. Do keep watching Tech Tree and keep asking us questions. We'll see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.